Uh, it's so beautiful! Woo! Hello and welcome to episode two of the Off-Road Runner in New Mexico. My name is Ryan and I'm traveling with my good buddy Jabba. We're on a 500 mile adventure from Santa Fe to Las Cruces and we're having the time of our lives and trying our best to show you all the beauty of New Mexico. If you missed episode one, I will link that down below, but let's get this party started. Well, good morning. <laughs> I've been sitting here kind of in a daze for a while, but I do feel better. That is the good part. I don't feel 100%. I don't feel how I usually feel when I wake up. Boing, 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 full of energy. But I feel better. Good morning, my man. What's up, brother? How you feeling? Good. Honestly, other than my, my tendy undercarriage, this just comes with the territory. Other than that, no muscles are sore. I definitely have tired eyes and crazy bed head and a little bit of sunburn. Yeah, Need right. to use some more sunscreen today. Thank you, comfy, overpriced hotel bed. I needed you. It's time to head out into the wilds of New Mexico. You ready, brother? I'm just gonna be here, just hanging out with the ice. Yeah, he's got ice. I'll catch up to you. Java likes ice in his bottles. Pro, no, pro likes, tip, pro not tip. likes, loves. Loves, loves ice. Biggest obstacle of the day, getting our bikes out the skinny little doorway. Oh yeah, oh boy, holy crap. It is windy already. Woo. I just found a good omen in the parking lot, a heads up lucky penny. I have been collecting these for the past 30 years or so. I have a whole jar at home. They have to be heads up for them to be lucky, at least for me. We all make our own rules, right? But this is a good omen here. All right, goodbye, quality in. Hello, cold headwinds. <laughs> you know, it's hard sometimes to start a day in the wind. Mentally, you're like, ah, no. But I'm with my buddy, we're together. We're outside, we're riding bikes. Life's pretty darn good, right? I don't, I'm not gonna complain until it's time to complain. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, I like that. <laughs> All right, here we go. No crashies. No flatties. No flatties, no whammies. This seems to be the fireworks capital of New Mexico. <laughs> There's a lot of these warehouses, which seems like a silly thing to be selling in ultra dry, windy New Mexico. We are off the busy road on some gravel and we have a side wind now, not a headwind. And it's amazing how quickly things can change and your mindset changes. <laughs> so much nicer. So much nicer. I love it. Enjoy it while you got it. Because we're going to take another turn down the road that's probably not in our favor. <laughs> Today's gonna be one of those days where I just put my head down and grind. <laughs> the wind is taking it out of me. I'm still recovering from yesterday evening and I'm just slowly moving forward. We are slowly moving forward, which is all right. You can't always go super fast. <laughs> But I am grateful for all these trees around us now. These are the pinion pines blocking some of the wind. 
Wind is definitely the most difficult weather element for me when I'm biking. It just makes everything harder. It's loud in your ears. I can't really film as much. Definitely no drone. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes with the weather, but for now, it's a bit blustery. Whoa, hot sauce. Of course I will. Of course you will. How are, how are these burritos the day after? Perfectly fine. They're fine? A perfectly fine. I bought 10 of them. <laughs> we ate four of, wait, I forget how many. Yeah. I had like six left. We are not making nearly as many miles as we did yesterday, but that's all right. We've got a whole day ahead of us, mostly. We'll figure it out. Do you need any energy, bro? Energy. No, I'm good on energy. Chuck, 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 chuck. <laughs> Let's go! All right, we're about 15 miles in on the day, give or take. Um, it's been chilly and windy since we started. That's why I haven't really pulled the phone out much because it's been windy. You can't really hear me talk. But uh, Ryan's feeling better. He was uh, he got a little got a little bonky. He looked 20 miles out of town, but now he's feeling right as rain. Hi. <laughs> I'm so thankful for these pinions blocking the wind. And as a bonus, they smell good. Tell that this area gets some pretty high winds. Looking at that busted tree, must have come down recently. It's still very green. And there goes the Viking. I have been thinking about putting on my long sleeve shirt for like a couple of hours right now. My feet are numb because of the cold, biting wind. They've been numb all day. And this shirt is like mega see through. No, no wind break effect on this <laughs> just a just a spot of you uh uv protection but it certainly breathes well when it's hot out and it'll be getting hot next week i like the name of these towns chilili mountain air so we're looking at the sky now and it looks almost like it could rain which would be very cold rain because we're still high up in altitude. Hopefully that doesn't happen. This is what it is right now. We have chilly mountain air. That's true. It is chilly. And it, it is mountain air. Dudes have the same idea. Record the same sign. Look at this cute little shop. Let's go. So it's not raining, but snowing. <laughs> It's really hard to see. It's just a faint snow here right now, but yeah, it's snowing. I don't think it's going to snow a lot, but <laughs> uh, it's kind of cool, actually. My feet are so numb. I love general stores like this in small towns. They have so much charm. I mean, look at this. There's a, there's a bear right next to the Gatorade, and the nice gentleman out here is going to make me some fresh bean burritos because they didn't have anything in here without meat. Since it's nice and warm in here, we're having a little picnic inside the general store. Yeah, buddy. I mean, last night's leftovers you're eating this morning. They made today's me some fresh, fresh burritos that's, with beans. That looks good, What's your name? Robert. Nice to that's meet you, Robert. my man. How, how long has this years. place been here? Uh, 22 years now. Yeah, no so way, man. April Fool's Day, so yeah. Cool. 22 years, April Fool's. We're so uh, glad that you're here. This burrito with beans, cheese, and green chilies is the best burrito I've had so far Ooh, in New Mexico. Yeah. Thank you, brother. There's a lot of interesting stuff all over the store. Where do you get it all? So uh, locals actually give us a lot of this stuff. So uh, everything from you know the, the antlers, we've got a lot of the, the deer sheds up here. This stuff up here, they've made. We got a lot of artistic people out here cutting stuff out of metal. They made this uh, ladder here. I don't know if you can see the ladder up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, all locally made. 
uh, uh, all this stuff. It's just people, they see this stuff that's already in here and they want to add to it. So they'll donate whatever they can and we put it up for them, you know, and they're, they're glad to see it every time they come in, you know. We, we try to make it more unique than anywhere else, so you, you won't find this stuff, so you know. Sweet. Thank you, brother. Thank brother you. Robert. Thank you guys. See you later, my man. Care for your yes, yeah. thank you, thank you. All right. Oh, that was a stop and it recharged our souls. It's not snowing anymore. We got a little sun, but it is chilly. 10 points general store gets an A+. Plus. And the owner just said that they, they allow camping there. So if you're bike packing through here and it's in the evening, feel free to get some fresh bean burritos and camp. Oh, really cool people. Oh, you Olang? Olang. He's Olang. Olang, 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 Olang. Today's another good day or maybe every day in New Mexico is a good day to look up and admire the clouds. I've always loved the clouds in this state. <sighs> Although I'm on a road with cars, so it's best not to daydream too much and stay focused. <laughs> Hi cows, hope you're warm. <sighs> it's snowing. Ah. <laughs> Brian's way back there because he has to put up his set up his tripod and then we ride down together for a shot and he has to turn around and go back and get it and then I speed ahead and I get to make fun of him on video and he can't even hear me until I post it probably tomorrow and then he knows everything I said about him because he smells so bad and he's so stinky and and that's the worst thing I could say about him probably because he's the best guy in the whole world. FedEx is gonna run you over and you're gonna die. They're coming in hot. Hot. <laughs> I skid, bro. And just like that, the sun is back out. And the biggest bonus is that we're on a gravel road again. Today's had a lot of pavement, which, uh, you know, you move fast, of course, but there's the danger of cars. And the reason why I like bike packing is because it's usually on dirt. But this road, this route has had a lot of paved roads, a surprising amount, but uh, that's all right. It's getting us to where we need to go. We've already endured cold and wind. Snow. And snow and like a little bit of sleet yep. but then the sun comes out and makes us happy again yeah and you know ever since we left that general store the day has been really pleasant even though we've had some weather but that general store just gave us a boost a food boost bean boost and i just love connecting with people everywhere you know it makes me happy makes me feel closer to my fellow humans all over the world when I can walk into a tiny store in the middle of nowhere and just chat about what life is like there. Looks like another storm over there. This is one of those days where there's a lot of weather patterns and they're moving in fast because of the wind and they rain a little bit and then something moves through and then it's sunny for a little bit, then it's rainy again or snowy in our case. And I think we're gonna be playing this game all day. Here's one of our first overlooks. We can see way out into the valley below. Look at that mesa. That is beautiful. And we are heading into those mountains. Yes, sir, Bob. You ready for that, Java? I don't know where we are. I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs>
We are in a tiny town called Tahike. We don't need any food, but we're gonna top off on water because we can. When it comes to like water intel, beta, whatever you wanna call it, like don't trust everything that's on the guide. You get it when you can get it. You don't want no heat case. That's right, especially in the desert. Yeah. There's a definite downpour that way. I'm very zoomed in. And there's the Viking. We are tucked in here in some juniper bushes here. There's something blowing over. There's some rain involved. It's cold, so we're just chilling. The Viking is uh, stretching. Yeah. I got a lot to stretch. <laughs> oh, trees. They come in handy when you need to hide, especially when you're in the desert, and a lot of times there's no place to hide from weather. I'm glad that we have these massive juniper bushes. Um, I think we're, it's gonna mostly blow to the south of us, and we're just kind of letting it do that while some of the precip blows, <laughs> blows our way. I'm cold. Yeah. You need to get more fat like Uncle Jabba. Yeah, I'm a little chilly. <laughs> Skinny guys get cold. I just don't know if we're gonna be able to dodge this storm. <laughs> we might just get hit. And that's the way it's gonna be. Hi there, cutie. Oh. I do like the sound of rain pitter pattering on my jacket, but I don't like the feel of the rain on my legs. It's cold. <laughs> We're slowly getting there, and by there, I don't know where. We hope to go another 10, 15 miles to find another campsite. It's 5 p.m. Almost time to be done. You wanna know a secret? What's that? I haven't felt my toes all day. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading up, up, up into these beautiful mountains. The rain is coming, but uh, that's all right. We're almost towards the end of the day. If we find a nice flat spot and it's absolutely miserable and wet, we are just gonna put up the tents and call it a day. But for now, forward march. It's been a cold day. Truly have not felt my toes all day. We gotta climb up to just above 8,000 feet here. I always seem to run into late spring snowstorms in New Mexico. It happened to me on the divide as well in mid-May back in 2021. I've been pushing for hours. When I first hit the snow this morning, I was like, oh, this is fun, it's an adventure. I really, truly thought I'd be out of it quickly. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Java. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. holidays. Bicycle Santa's Woo! here for, with a present. Ow. Yeah, this is real deal snow now. <laughs> There's a campground right beside us. Here we are hiding under a shelter at a camp spot. We thought we would get about eight more miles. We wanted to camp down lower elevation around 6,000 feet. We're about 8,000 right now, but the snow has moved in. 
it's not warm. <laughs> and, uh, and, and the idea of getting my feet warm sounds delicious right now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it's a... Uh, all the, other, all the other little snow squalls today have like come and gone within minutes. This one is, this one's sticking. Yeah. Oh, nothing like putting up a tent with freezing cold hands, huh? I don't even feel anything, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right. Mine has a little bit of work to be done. Oh, it's so cold. Okay, we got the stuff up. And here is my dinner for the night. Beans and tortillas. And this new hot sauce from Priority Bikes. Check that out. Enough dilly-dallying outside. It's going to be an early one. We're going to go into our tents and call it good. <laughs> Great day, buddy. Yeah, man. Good work today. I couldn't even feel that. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll see you. <laughs> I'm getting in my tent now. Yep, I'll be talking we are not you. sitting by the campfire tonight. No doubt. <laughs> I got all my warm clothes on. And I am cozy. It is still snowing, raining. It's a very wet snow that came down pretty fast and furious. We didn't get nearly as many miles as we were hoping today, but you know, it was windy and that's what happens sometimes. But we are grateful to be here on flat ground <laughs> inside of our tents. And tomorrow might be a little chilly, but that's okay. Right now I'm rubbing my feet because they are cold. But good thing I'm wearing my Olay Socks. These are magical Ole wool socks. How you doing over there, buddy? Oh, I'm just putting on gloves. <laughs> You're putting on gloves. <laughs> it was a scramble to get set up. No, no, no real accumulations. It seems to be slowing down, which is nice. I can see the top of the mountains there. That's good. But... Everything is soaked. And I can't feel my feet skis. The day's real cold. Oh, there it is. You know when you're cold and it's snowing on your tent? You eat beans. It makes you feel warmer. <laughs> I'm a dork and I know it, okay? You don't need to tell me down in the comments section. I have all my clothes for tomorrow tucked in at the bottom of my sleeping bag so they will stay warm because it is going to be 35 degrees at 7 a.m. Brr. <laughs> it's about only 7 right now, so we got 12 hours of laying in here and sounds like the snow is still going. Man, I love adventures. I love them when they're hot and warm and perfect, but I also love adventures when they're windy and cold and a little uncomfortable. That's kind of what makes them special. You never know what you're gonna get. And I love adventures with friends. I would be feeling a lot more scared, I think, if I was just by myself. But it's nice to be joking and having fun with Jabba over there in the tent next to me. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Jabba! That's me. <laughs> okay, buenas noches. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Oh, yes. That's a good girl. Hello there. Spoiler, we survived the snowstorm. We're all good. No frostbite on the fingers or the toes. Thanks so much for watching this video. There's a whole bunch more to come from New Mexico. I absolutely loved this adventure and I loved riding with and getting to know Jabba better. He is such a good guy and, as you can tell, very funny. I have some information for you that has nothing to do with New Mexico now. If you are doing RAGBRAI this summer and you want to be on Team Doozer, we have some really cool shirts that we've made. They are recycled, they are about as eco-friendly as a shirt can be, and we are not making any money off these shirts. We are gonna sell them at cost. But the thing is, you have to be at RAGBRAI to pick up the shirts. We are not shipping these out. Maybe someday in the future, we'll do some similar shirts that the whole world can buy. But right now, this is only for RAGBRAI riders. If you want to buy a shirt, do it this week. We are taking orders and we will have them ready for you at the RAGBRAI Expo. Link down 
below. All right, we will see you next week for another installment of the Off-Road Runner. Doo -doo -doo.